Why not sit with me a while and keep an old man company? For centuries, the quayside of ports and harbors has been a place awash with tall tales, told to entertain and educate. The salty sea air filled with yarns spun by many an old sea dog such as I. A place where lives interact and worlds intersect, where everyone carries their own baggage, packed with strange stories. From the enigmatic and mysterious to the terrifying and scary, and all unnerving, unlikely, and unimaginable, their experience is shared, a warning to the curious. Welcome to Port Manto. Chaz Gatterton, the story of a man who had found himself on a dark road. Time had passed, and his life hadn't gone the way he wanted it to. A recent divorce left him homeless, penniless. He drove to work with his head burning with the anxiety that perhaps he had lost his way and would never find his way again in the woods that were Confan und Vexentor, the finest microchip development plant in the world. All my life seems to be is sitting here day in, day out, just making these damn microchips. What's it all for? I mean, I know what they're for. They're for toasters and things, but what is it for? Look, I I work with this gold, and I, I take this precious metal, and I fashion it into these components for pieces of technology that will just break and fail, and that gold, that gold could be put to so much more use and just think if only they didn't weigh the gold at the end of every day I could steal some there must be a way there must be a way Chaz! Chaz! Yes, snap out of yes, it! Yes sir, sorry sir Snap out of it Chaz, you've got a parcel at the desk at the front desk uh, you need to go and see security and sign for it Oh, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. And Chaz. Yes, sir. You got an appraisal this afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, Make sir. Make sure you're in there by three. I remember, All sir. Right. Thank you, sir. Okay. Goddamn asshole. Hi, Benny. Uh, he got a parcel for me. Hey, Chaz. You all right? I got this. Uh, listen to this, Chaz. Do you think? <laughs> Never had a lesson. What do you think, man? You think I'm gonna, yeah, gonna make I, it on the there tonight? I can tell, I can tell. I'm up right on the stage. Which, what stage? Uh, downstairs, down at, uh, 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 at Benny Beans, down on uh, Cricket's Way. Uh, they're gonna have me up there tonight with the jazz crew. What do you think? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed, Benny, I'm impressed. Yeah, well, what you doing here, Chaz? Well, well, like I said, I hear you've got a parcel for me. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I'm just going to get it out for you. Hang on a second. It's down here under the desk. Oh, 
Ted, you need to sign in. You didn't sign in today either. You walk straight past. You like you're in a daydream. Oh, sorry. I uh, sometimes, some days, I I just, I'm like I'm on autopilot. Yeah, I had days like that myself. Sometimes I just, I don't know. I, I, <laughs> what can I say, Chaz? You know, life goes up and it goes back down and it goes back up again. You just gotta ride it out, man. Is this the parcel? This is it. Here you go. It's a. What it, is it? I have no idea. Don't forget, you need to sign for that too. Okay. Uh, hang on, the clipboard's here. Yeah, just sign that. There's a pen there, Chaz. Hang on, here you go. That's it. Smash it. Thanks, okay. Benny. Uh, well, I'll see you later, I'll Chaz. see you later. See you in a bit. Who's this from? I don't recognize the return address. Strange. Let's have a look what's inside it. A book. It's got no title. It's, you know, the pages are, pages are blank. Oh, wait, one page. It's a drawing. My God, this could be the answer to all my prayers. This, this is how I can steal the gold. Chairs. Chaz! Yes, sir? Appraisal! Now! Sorry, sir. Down Sorry, the corridor. Sir. Well, I'm afraid, Chaz. You know this company, um... You know we're downsizing, don't you? I, I've heard the rumors, sir. And, um... Well, we're going to move our operation back to our home country. And, Chaz... You're not coming with us, I'm afraid. I guess it's a harsh way to break it to you, but I I'm, I need to be blunt with you. You've been exceptional for this company, Chaz, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Well, okay? how, how long have I got left? End of the week. I'm sorry, Chaz, I really am. But, uh, I mean, obviously, uh, if money's a problem, I will sort it with you, you know. You've got a lot Thank of redundancy uh, coming you, your sir. way. Don't worry, Chaz, but it'll last you at least a year, maybe a year and a half. I know it's a very specialist field, but I'm sure you'll get a job. I'll write you an excellent CV. Thank you, sir. Okay? Uh, uh, a week should be long enough. Okay, Chaz. Now you take care. If you need to see me again, don't hesitate to knock on my door. I'll make sure that I don't, sir. Chaz's mind was restless. He was not in peace. He rolled in bed, tossed and turned. That image. That image that he'd seen in a book that was blank. A book with no cover. It's bizarre. How did he imagine it? I mean, what was this thing? Had he been sent by himself? Or was someone playing a sick game on him? He was getting so paranoid he didn't know what to think. He went to his drawer. Found some second vitacanol and decided to knock a few back and relax. But then came a knocking at the door. Oh, who the hell's that? Hang on! <sighs> Chess. Yeah. I'm so sorry about what happened. Shamina? <laughs> Shaz. <laughs> Shamina? Shaz, it was all my fault. And we were getting on so well. And, but I've always been a whore, Shaz. And I always will be. You were a fool to try and push me on the straight road. When my road's as crooked as a willow tree. What are you doing here, Shmina? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did I... Sorry, I took some pills before I went to bed. Sh shares. I just want one more night with you. One more loving night. Playing... Not the rough stuff. What, playing board games like we used to? No. I want to sit on your balcony, Shaz. 
I want to drink your wine straight from the bottle. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shemina, but I, I've got to be up early tomorrow, and I've got to be in work, and I've, uh, I've, there's something really important I need to do tomorrow. It's, and it can't wait. Well, Shaz, whatever happens to you, whatever you become. I'll always love you. Goodbye, Shaz. That final meeting was gonna be the final meeting. Hi, Benny. How, how did it go last night? Well, it didn't go too well, Shaz. I've got to say. I think, uh, Chaz, I got a confession to make, Chaz. What is it, Benny? I shopped you in, Chaz. I you... shopped you in to get a job at the new factory in England. What do you mean you shopped me in? I told him, Chaz. Told him what, Benny? I told him about your shoes. M my shoes? You know, and when that time uh, you said to me that, uh, if you walk around in your shoes and you accidentally drop a bit on the floor, a bit of the good stuff, that it'd pick it up in the rubber, and people never check the soles of your shoes, do they? Hey, well, and I and I I, I was saying it, you know, because you were grilling me, and I don't know, Shaz, I, I feel so guilty, but I needed that job, Shaz. I got nothing. I got no music career, nothing. So, they've. Given you my job? Oh, yeah, Shaz. Have you ever used a soldering iron? Shaz, all you do Solid is... Solid state? All you do is move chunks of precious metals from one room to the next, Shaz. And I'm, let's face it, you, you know, you're like a little twig man compared to me. I could move twice as much as you can. Well, it's good to know who my friends are, Benny. Oh, Chaz, I thought if I wasn't honest with you, then you'd think I wasn't your friend. Hey, I, hey, Chaz, before you go, some, though. Yeah. That's my farewell to you, Chaz. Goodbye, boy. Goodbye. <laughs> Benny, you forget I'll be leaving tonight, so you'll see me then. Don't be so pedantic, we need cash. Ass wipe. Right. Now. It's now or never. If I'm ever to get this, I'm a fifa for funny fana. I'm a if I'm ever. <laughs> if I'm ever gonna get this gold out of here, I've got to use my head. And thanks to this mysterious book. I know just the way to do it. Chaz worked hard into the night and uh, time was ticking on. Five to eight. Closing time. This would be the time to make his move. It was now or never. This or nothing. It, Chaz! Chaz, is that you? Chaz? Oh, I see, Chaz. I see you suppose you want me to open the door for you, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, Chaz. Since I got your job in England, I will. Here you go, Chaz. All you gotta do is walk through the door. Oh, Chaz, you dropped your hat. Here you go, son. Oh my God, Chaz! You've fallen on my Gibbon Room Paul! Its strings are all squiggly! <laughs> oh my God! God looked down that day, in despair, for the creatures he had made from mud had run amok, literally. And now it was time to sweep one up and return him to the earth from which he came. I suppose you think that's the end of the story. 
But there's a mystery, isn't there? Why didn't Chaz speak on his way out? Why did he collapse? Well, it all became apparent when Benny went to retrieve his guitar and looked down at his one-time friend and saw that where his head should be was a giant nugget of gold. His hat lay lifeless by his side. What had happened to Chaz, Benny never knew. He just couldn't work it out. And neither can you.